So it could be blockchain, fintech, big data, agri-tech, uh, gov-tech. We like to put tech to everything. So we were able to do these hackathons and we were able to identify you know, bright minds. And we are now using this as an opportunity to do procurement in the state. So for the cutting edge technology, uh, you know, trying to write an you know, RFP is exactly, you know, it's not easy and trying to do an e-procurement is even tougher. But we started using hackathons as the mechanism uh, for, pro uh, for procurement at government. I'll give you two examples of this. Um, one is, uh, you know, drinking water tankers. You know, especially in summer, we have to send water in tankers to remote villages for drinking water. It's a hundred crore. A hundred crore is roughly about a 15 to 18 million dollar budget that I as a minister have to uh, deliver drinking water for, the, for three uh, summer months. It's a black box. So on record, the tankers go, the money gets drawn, but then I get negative articles every day in the paper saying, you know, there's water crisis, the tankers are not coming, so on and so forth. So we Uberized it. So we Uberized drinking water tankers. And this, was, this came uh, from two kids in the state. Very simple project. Start trip, take a picture of the empty tank, take a picture while filling the tank, and then you track where he's going. And while dispensing water, he again takes another picture. So, governments will have to be focusing on two things. One is preventive, one is preventive care, and the other is curative care. And looking at this from the uh, from the lens of uh, uh, how to improve this uh, health care, one would have to be talking about availability, accessibility of health care, and also affordability of health care. All these three would have to be moving in line. In order to do that, uh, from my state's perspective as to how we have, how, like, how we have been uh, uh, wanting to move forward is, we've taken every uh, 2,000 people, uh, every pop population with, uh, every village with 2,000 population as a unit, and we're coming up with uh, village clinics. And then uh, we're taking up every a, 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 a 30,000 population as a unit, as a, a unit, and uh, uh, classifying it as mandal, and where we're coming up with two PHCs, uh, primary health centers. These primary health centers would have uh, 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 four doctors, two of the doctors uh, uh, present in each of the PHC center, and they would be given uh, an ambulance, 104, and each of this doctor would be given their designated villages. So five villages or four villages, depending on the mandal size, to each of these doctors. And these doctors, every alternate day, would hop onto the ambulance and visit the village. And they would become the family doctor for that village. Very soon the doctors, because they've been de designated only those four villages, so they would start to identify people by names and they would use this village clinic as a hub.